Hello everybody, and as you can see, a fantastic start to this one <coughs> as we had to join back into the session because our game crashed. Our game crashed on, like, lap three of the race. So, uh, fuck us. And, of course, I don't have my recording because of that. So, we're not going to worry about anything that's happened there. Uh, we have a safety car. We're going to get control of our car here. P7 now after losing positions due to the disconnect. And, yeah, our home race and the home car as the home driver. We're looking to clinch the championship. And we got oh shit God, like this happening. You gotta love Senna it. My crashed. awesome luck of late continues. As you see there, Senna yeah. is out of the session. The Aston yeah, Martin has fall. crashed out, which is very out. surprising. Is The Aston Martins have just been the pinnacle of consistency all season long. All right, and the safety car will be coming in at the end of this lap. You know, hasn't announced it yet. We know it's going to come in. Lap 6, so it will be lap 7. We're uh, still on our hard tires. Luckily, our yeah, AI was not hard yeah, on our tires. tires, so that's good at least. We're going to take our time. Get the tires up to temperature. And we're just going to get absolutely beamed in the ass and put in the wall under safety car. I mean, what the fuck do I even say? Really, what, the, what, what do I even say anymore, folks? But uh, don't worry. It happened to me, so there was no penalty for this. Because it does anything to make the championship closer. It's not a penalty. Hit me under safety car, punt me in turn one of a race, have illegal safety car restarts that rob me of wins, break any rule you want in the game. Doesn't matter. If it disadvantages Logan, it will be a penalty. So we're going to have to come into the pits. Now we're dead last. We are on a non-preferred strategy. We got damage. Things are going great. Now on lap 8. We somehow are not last as a couple cars have also had to pit for damage. And now we have a full safety car as someone whose name I forget has crashed out so maybe still hope in this one after all safety car in at the end of this lap having trouble getting temps in the rear tires hopefully we don't get absolutely beamed during the safety car it looks like we're actually not to not going to so already doing better restarting in p10 all we need to do is not get outscored by a teammate i forget how many points it was to become champion so yeah, Tim's going to have to do a lot of work ahead of us, but he's ahead of us currently. So, he's fresh medium tires. The Red Bull ahead gets a bad exit. On a very tricky corner, so we're going to make up that position there. Up in the P9, and we're going to try to be on a tear. I'm very pissed off because I got taken out of McLaren. I had my game crash. It's just been a shitty fucking day so far for me playing the game. So now we're going to get a great run on the other Red Bull, uh, Meek Von Gelder. It's going to make it a little difficult for us. But we're going to use just a little extra meter just to ensure we complete this overtake. We're going to have to hold it around the outside, though. It makes it a little difficult for us. But at least fresh the medium tires, we're going to be able to move on through. We should be able to gain a lot of time through this section of the track. This is where people lose a lot of time not taking enough curb. And just like that, you can see we are right up to the back of the McLaren. I don't even know if this is the McLaren that hit me in the ass or not, but I was pissed off at all McLarens. They were guilty by association at this point. We're going to fly by him. Already up in the P7 after the safety car restart. And with many more cars directly in our sights. So we're going to be looking, of course, to gain a lot of positions early in this one. And I believe, if I remember correctly, that if we do get a podium, regardless of where our teammate finishes, podium is enough for the championship. And, of course, in any way, shape, or form, if we finish ahead of him, we are the driver's champion. As I forgot to mention, I believe as of the last race, we had clinched the Constructors' Championship. We had a gigantic lead in the Constructors' Championship. 
all season long, ever yeah. since Ch Tim joined the team. On the third round, we already had the lead, and then just grew like crazy from there as we are one and two in the Drivers Championship. Great run on the hard tire running Ferrari. This is gonna be another spot for us. Up into P6 now, and not even halfway through this one. Next up is gonna be the Alpine ahead. Again, we'll be looking to gain a lot of time through this tricky section here. You wanna not carry too much speed because too much speed will unsettle the car. You wanna take as much curb as possible. Use the higher gears, of course, because Stadium. this game is so realistic Stadium. with traction. And yeah, we are gaining quickly on the cars ahead and hopefully gonna be able to clinch the championship in this round. Still, even after getting put in the wall under safety car, which is somehow not a penalty, and having a game crash. Moving forward a touch here, now on lap 15, the Alpine ahead got around our teammates, and now it's our teammate right in front of us. We've been held up at, by the DRS train in front of us, not enough space to get around, <clears throat> but now this is the position that matters for us. No matter what bullshit has happened in this race, this is the one position that matters. If I can get ahead of my teammate, I will be in a championship winning position. We both have the DRS, but I'm on the mediums to his heart, so we're gonna hang it around the outside break late just keep a foot in to hold our spot make it become the oh, inside of this right long there. right hander and that is going to be job done we gain the position on our teammate now p5 and in a championship winning position now i just need to hopefully gap him as much as possible because i'm sure i will get held up by the whatever battling is going on ahead <clears throat> the alpine very low on ers so we're gonna to try to use that to our advantage rather quickly, as we can see all the way up to second place here, just right in front of us. So still a great opportunity for at least P2 in this race. Not gonna have enough space on the front stretch to get alongside. We're just gonna play this cautiously. As crazy battling going on ahead of us, no room through. Alpine's lights still blinking behind, so going into the next DR stretch. That is going to be our big opportunity to overtake if we can stay close enough. But coming through the S section, very difficult to follow, very difficult section and pad in general. All about getting the exit here onto the long straight, one of the longest straight straights on the calendar. We're going to use the battery now, though. We need to get this position, especially when he is out of ERS, doesn't fight us. And that is us now into fourth position with the Mercedes and Alfa Romeo's in front of us. And us being on the medium tires, this is still a great opportunity for us to pounce through this section here. We're quick through here, but there's nowhere really to pass. But maybe we can get a good enough run out of this corner to use the long straight. You see the light blinking on the back of the Alfa Romeo. So definitely a lot of ERS being used in these battles. The We're going to use the ERS to bad. get by this Mercedes. He doesn't have DRS on the Alfa Romeo. We're going to get by him with no problem. And now our sights are set on this Alfa Romeo. I'm not sure which one it was, but we know he's low on ERS. And with these medium tires, we are quick. And we're looking to get the position on him sooner rather than later as we try to gap our teammate, who's now in the pits. He has got, I don't know please, if he has gotten damage please, 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 or he just on. still needed to make a pit stop. But yes, our teammate is now in the pits. So that's gonna be even more of a gap between us. And I'm also kind of hoping he would get stuck in some traffic behind. Because as it stands, we're still gonna have to make a pit stop in this one. These medium tires cannot go all the way. And yeah, getting hit in the ass under that safety car. I mean, we already got pushed back in the field from our game crashing. But getting beamed in the yeah, ass, good. under safety car putting us in the wall, fucking up our race strategy, uh, just really, that. really Let's fucked go. us. But uh, <laughs> don't worry, it was all clean driving by him, as alone. the stewards of the report will assure you. What, not enough room to get by the Alfa Romeo here. We got very close. Just need a little bit more straightaway to get the move done. <clears throat> But through this section, this may be our opportunity coming down this straight. We got at least 10 more ERS battery than him. So we're going to flex it down this straight. We don't even care. We're using the battery here. We know we're going to have a, a straight line speed advantage with the extra battery, with the DRS, with the slipstream. 
We're going to break late and hold it. And yes, that is P2 now in this race. And a big gap to the first. No chance of winning this race after getting put in the wall in their safety car. Which is still just absolutely fucking ridiculous. <laughs> And, but yeah, at least we are oh, in a championship me, winning man. position. Long the first one End of lap 21, start of lap first 22. We would have to come in for our pit stop. These tires cannot make it all the way. That sucks. Fresh mediums going on. We'll be taking those bad no. boys to the end of the race. <laughs> Let's see what position we come out in. What a shit ton do, 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 of fun. Do. Down to third. Big gap in the field, though. And yes, we will get out. Still in P3. Still in a podium spot, still in a championship winning ridiculous. position. As the laps would tick on, you would see we are catching up to the Alfa Romeo ahead of us. So still in contention of P2 in this race. I am sorry, that is a Ferrari ahead of us, not an Alfa Romeo. I am stupid. I have an Alfa Romeo chasing me down behind me. So. That is what my worry is with the floor damage I have. Not too much floor damage. But yeah, I got an Alfa Romeo behind me. I am catching the car ahead. A lot going on here at the end of this race. And really, I'm just hoping that nothing happens that an incident. You know, I just don't want an incident to happen at this point. That is my main concern. As the laps would advance, you'll see we are still P3. Not enough time to catch the car ahead in P2. We were much quicker though on these fresh mediums, but not enough time to catch up. But we are in P3, so coming down this back stretch for the last time, we in our home race, in the home car, as the home driver, we are going to clinch the SRL Drivers Championship for season, I believe this is season nine, eight or nine. And yeah, feels good to finally clinch this championship. Didn't do it the way I wanted to, though. It's been a honestly still a shit show of a season. Nothing will ever be as bad as last year's was. But at least this year we were able to get the championship. First half of the season was an absolute fuckery fest. The end of the season, honestly, here has been a fuckery fest. I don't have any more footage from the last two races because I had another game crash in Japan. And then I was having issues with the internet in my area. In the last race of the season, Brazil, I don't know what the fuck's going on. This is the only game I have any kind of issue. I mean, I have the best internet I can get in my area. I have a wired connection. I have no issues when I play FPSs. I have no issues when I play people in other continents in Street Fighter. But just in this game specifically, I've been having issues here at the, right at the end of the year, which is fucking up. And only in this league as well. All the other leagues I've raced in, I've had no issues. So, yeah, it's fucking annoying. I don't have footage from the last two races. The last race was specifically annoying. We were winning Brazil with no issue, and then we just disconnect, so fuck me. But at the end, while a lot of bullshit kept us from breaking the records we wanted to break with most wins in a season and all that, you know, I was really only beat on pace. You know, Mexico, um... Yeah, that's about it. Mexico and then uh, Japan, I probably wouldn't have won, even though I had disconnect issues. But yeah, still a great season. 22 races, being the quickest on pace in 20 of them, but still only getting the amount of wins we did because of all the bullshittery, all, all the issues. It is annoying, but like I said, in the end, we did get our championship. Still do really like this league. I'm looking oh, forward shit. to the challenge I next year that Simone will bring. Case. And hey, it's a new game. You know, maybe we'll have more force feedback on pad. Maybe it'll be a game that is better for me, worse for me. Who knows? But we will see then. Only thing I'm concerned about going into next season is honestly the stewarding. Because it seems like no matter what the fuck people do to me, it's never a penalty. But, uh, Jesus Christ, I don't even know what to say about it at this point. Uh, yeah, surprising double DNF from the Aston Martins that they've been a pinnacle of consistency all season long but thanks so much for joining me this season got our championship we'll try to make it the two peat coming next year's yeah. game see ya Jesus. that was on the